G'day guys, Elfie here. Uh, it's been a ridiculously long time since I've recorded a YouTube video uh, for my channel. Um, and this is sort of an update video to tell you sort of where I've been, what's been going on, and what I'm planning on, I guess is the best way to say it. So I um, have kind of disappeared <laughs> off the face of the planet around, at least publicly, um, around Minecraft education at the, for the last couple of years. Um, I've left the classroom, I'm doing uh, a different job now as a virtual learning coach, um, but I've kept my hand in and, and an eye on the community and I'm a Minecraft global mentor and stuff like that, so I haven't run away completely, um, but doing the extra stuff uh, has had to stop recently because I had a new child, I've now got three, and my youngest one decided not to sleep for through the night for ages and he still very rarely does so that's just had an impact on the amount of uh, available time I've had to do stuff but he's starting to sleep which means energy is returning which means time to do stuff like this is also returning um, so some of you may recognize this map as the animal cell that I created for the Java edition um, or Minecraft EDU uh, quite a few years ago now I am in the process of um, converting this to be working with um, Minecraft Education Edition, the, the new version from Microsoft, slash two, three year old version from Microsoft. Um, but one of the big impacts um, was these guys here coming in, uh, and that's made this map translatable, if, if you will. So without teleport blocks, getting people to move around in this map was very tricky. Um, but with those command blocks, we can now do that quite effectively. I'm going to reskin the water and these blocks above and below to make it look really, really fancy. But you can see we can move around, and I'll just show you what happens here. So this is how they're going to be able to get to each of the different locations within the cell. Um, and this is as far as I've gotten in terms of translating this through. So you can see the ones in here don't actually have those teleportation platforms I guess is the best way to say it in there yet so I need to can sort of copy all of this over and into all of the ones in the cell there um, and then yeah the texture pack ooh, texture pack is working uh, I haven't got it on um, because I'm working in here at the moment um, one thing I do need to change is the transparency settings work differently in this edition than they did in the Java edition um, so the nether rack and the, the magenta wool over here I need to swap all of those blocks out to be um, a transparent block like glass so luckily we've got all the different colors of stained glass I can use to do that um, but that's just a, a grunt work job that I've got to do and then I've got to translate all of those teleportation systems within here so that they can choose where to go and of course get the information into the cell and links out to other websites and stuff like that um, so we're getting there so part of part of the reason I'm releasing this video is because this channel is going to not change so much it's going to have some more content content on it finally um, with this new computer uh, that I've got and I'm, I'm recording on now um, and I've got fast enough internet finally to live stream and live streaming is something I wanted to do for ages in terms of my lesson creation um, to sort of get that communication happening between you guys and me um, so live streaming stuff like you know the grunt work behind changing this and, and bringing the commands into here and stuff like that is something that I'm probably going to be looking at doing I might even be doing that directly after I upload this video uh, so that's twitch.tv slash eduelfie so you can come and check me out there if you want um, the other thing I've been doing a lot of live streaming on is um, well not a lot but I'm starting to is the sort of 3d printing and and the design process i go through i think that's a valuable thing that i want to share is how i actually go through the designing process and that sort of translates into this lesson stuff as well how do you go about creating a lesson um, so when when i get around to doing that um, i will put a little short video up on here and say hey we're, we're going live over there um, and then you guys can come over and have a look at how I actually create lessons and, and what I think about as I do it and actually communicate with me as we do it and, and ask questions and stuff like that. Alongside that to help sort of motivate me to do these things because as I said time is pretty uh, sp sparse I guess is the way to say it sometimes. Um, it is getting there but it is still fairly sparse so I'm exploring Patreon at the moment so there will be 
uh, likely a, a Patreon page for me coming out in the somewhat nearish future. Um, not to try and make a heap of money, just to sort of um, reward you guys, really. It's not about me making money at all. It's about, well, and it's it's all centered around the 3D printing stuff at the moment, but if the Minecraft education community wants sort of stuff going there for them, then that's, you know, that's something we can work on. Just let me know. Um, all right, I've prattled on for long enough, as this was supposed to be a short, sharp update video um so yeah if you do watch this live on twitch probably for the next hour or two maybe um working on this probably converting all of these over and bringing the command blocks in so drop by there if you want otherwise we'll uh catch you next time see ya